What? There are other electric cars that are not Tesla? And 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 some of them are actually better than Tesla? Uh yes. And uh yes. But I don't blame you for asking such silly questions because let's face it, Tesla has been the face of electric cars for over a decade now and has been the best in features and specs for many, many years. However, things have changed and other existing and new car makers have caught up. Did you know that there are now over 100 electric car models out there and yes, some of them are better than Tesla. But, 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 but before all of you Tesla fans jump out of your seats and into my comment section, since we are using such a vague word as better, better at what? And for whom and for what? Well, let's break things down by the most important categories for electric cars, and I will let you know which EV models are indeed better than Tesla, which is a high bar to clear. So let's start with the most obvious category that most people are worried about when they think about electric cars. How far can it go on a single charge. Tesla has been the king of electric car range for the entire decade. Not a single Tesla model, including their original Roadster back in 2008, had a range of less than 200 miles, which is impressive and partly the reason why Tesla is the most valuable car company in the world. It has increased over time, and now the longest range Tesla has a whopping 405 mile EPA range, and that's the Model S. Not too shabby. But last year, Tesla has finally lost the title of an EV maker with the longest range to Lucid Motors, a company most people never heard of. Lucid is a new startup headed by Tesla's former executive, widely credited for saving Tesla by bringing the Model S to market back in 2012, Peter Rawlinson. The longest range of the Lucid Air all-electric sedan has an EPA rating of 516 miles, over 100 miles more than the Tesla Model S. A quick honorable mention here, and I don't really like talking about EVs that don't really exist yet, but the upcoming all-electric Chevy Silverado EV is in production now as I'm making this video and has an EPA estimated range of 450 miles. Now, let's talk about what electric cars have introduced to the market that gas cars have never had, which is self-driving. Tesla has pretty much pioneered it with the autopilot, but could not keep up with the promises that Elon Musk has made year after year about its full self-driving package. Now, even though I do believe that the full self-driving package that Tesla sells for $15,000, despite being in beta, is a borderline scam, in terms of advanced technology assessment, it's pretty much the best. The Consumer Report, however, disagrees with me, placing Tesla way down the list, but you can tell they were most likely drunk when they were coming up with the criteria for this list, as they have the GM and Ford at the top of the list. Here's GM's Super Cruise trying to ram me into the center divider and other cars. The only brand that can claim that their self-driving technology is better than Tesla's is technically the Mercedes-Benz. It is the first automaker to release its level 3 self-driving feature and do what essentially makes this a real self-driving product which is accepting legal responsibility. That's right, once a driver turns on the Mercedes-Benz drive pilot system, they are no longer legally liable for the car's operation until it disengages. <sighs> However, there should be a huge asterisk. Oh, here, here it is. Okay, I'll, I'll move. Uh, here next to the statement. This only works in Germany and Nevada, with California next, and only at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, and 
only on select highways. The next category is the one by which a lot of people judge electric cars, and I'll tell you what it is in just a second. But before that, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Neo Charge. Wanna buy another electric car, but don't want to deal with paying an electrician to rewire your home for that second charger? Well, check out the dual car smart splitter from Neo Charge. Get one today and use the discount code in the description of this video. So let's talk about charging. It is the biggest pain point when it comes to owning an electric car. No electric car can charge its battery as fast as you can gas your gas car uh, for now. So the speed at which your EV charges is important, especially when you're traveling, which requires not just regular charging, but the DC fast charging. Much like with everything else, Tesla has been the best at charging as well until recently. The sister brands Kia and Hyundai have surprisingly taken a lead there. With most of their recent models, like the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and 6, as well as Kia EV6 and its luxury brands Genesis GV60, all charging at the max rates of 350 kilowatts, filling up their batteries from 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes. Now, the EV that we've talked about earlier, the Lucid Air, can charge from 20 to 80% in just 15 minutes. Now, the easiest way to beat Tesla is the price because Teslas ain't cheap. And there are now plenty of relatively affordable EVs that are cheaper than any Tesla, so let's talk about the best three. The all-new and refreshed Chevy Bolt EV, no longer looking like it was made as a compliance car, is priced at around $27,500, which drops under $20,000 with a tax credit, and it sports a pretty decent range of 259 EPA rated miles. Let's move on to also a refreshed second gen Nissan Leaf with a 149 mile EPA range priced at just under $30,000, but not eligible for the tax credit. And the OG from Hyundai, the Kona EV with 258 mile EPA rated range at around $35,000, but also no tax credit here either. There are a few other EVs that are quite affordable, but these three I'd say is the best bang for your buck. And now let's talk about the tech. Now I know what you're saying, Alex, Tesla is a tech company. How can anybody beat them at tech? Well, you will be surprised. So let's talk about just a few. Augmented reality head-up display. Now, Tesla doesn't even have a regular plain head-up display in most cars they sell, but brands like Audi, Volkswagen, and Mercedes-Benz have amazing ones where arrows are literally drawn on the road in front of you in 3D for guidance. Chinese maker Neo has the best personal in-car assistant, which is an actual on-dash doll head named Nomi that takes many more commands than Tesla and many other cars. Bidirectional charging. No, no, that's not when electric cars experiment in college. That is actually to power up a worksite or a campsite or your actual house during a blackout. And this tech is the best implemented in the all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning. Zero to 60 acceleration is literally beyond plaid, with a few exotic brands beating Tesla Model S plaid's time of 1.99 seconds. With the Remac Nevera doing zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds, the Lucid Air Sapphire in 1.89 seconds and the Pininfarina Bautista in insane 1.79 seconds. I feel nauseous just thinking about it. Now, those are just a few features that Tesla either fallen behind or just never even tried competing in. And there are others that we just simply don't have time for. But at the end of the day, Tesla will continue to be the overall industry leader for many years to come 
pushing all EV makers to do better and better with every year. Now, if you want to know what EVs that are being introduced to the market just this year, well, there are over 30 of them and I have jammed all of them into this video right here. Check it out. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember to stay charged.